We, so far, we talked about for-profit organization. What about non-profit? Uh, Santa Clara Valley, believe it or not, you would think Silicon Valley where is where the who's who and the wealthy live. In, in fact, we have a huge challenge with vulnerable population. The hospital that applied this bright line compass, they brought in outsiders, spent $20 million, nothing happened in 13 months. People were not engaged. So they, uh, they applied the bright line compass, they, they did inside out. The, the real heroes of Silicon Valley are the doctors who work in these hospitals. Tough, tough job, and they oftentimes make less money than some of my software engineer students that just graduated. This is Dr. Sanjay Kurani, Cliff Fang. Their job was to be able to increase the capacity of this hospital because of the Affordable Care Act and because of the cuts in the medical field and so forth with the new leadership in Washington. They, were, they had to increase the capacity by about 30%. So they created this logistics center within the hospital, uh, all IT driven, where they could see where each patient is, kind of like the air traffic controller. They, they, they looked at the hospital industry and they found out how quickly we can actually clean the room so that the next patient could come in. They transformed the entire organization using the Brightline Compass and they were extremely, extremely successful. So what I want to do next is show a video of these doctors talking about this transformation, and I want you to look at their inside-out transformation. Santa Clara Valley Medical Center is um, the safety net hospital of Silicon Valley, of all of Santa Clara County. And what was happening is the hospital was getting overcrowded. And when the hospital gets overcrowded, the ER gets overcrowded. We can't just move these patients out while they're still sick and try to get them out. And as we did a deeper dive, what we recognize is the reason why we were overcrowded is there were a lot of patients that we had that were simply non-acute sitting in the hospital. So oftentimes those patients can be in the hospital and not have an acute um, medical need to be there, but they can't be safely discharged to the streets. One of the hospitalists over here, one of our mentors told us that the most dangerous thing you could do for a patient is to discharge them. And with good reason, because in the hospital they are monitored, but once you discharge them, you have no idea what happened. A significant number of them, unfortunately, are homeless. Um, they have very complex medical conditions. So we had to come up with our own bold solution on how to care for these patients. We thought, well, what would be, what would be the ideal uh, transitions uh, model for these patients? And so a number of them, ideally what they would need a, is a full multidisciplinary team to help them with medications, um, to help them with uh, mental health issues. We just kind of flew by the seat of our pants and adapted and learned and changed as we, as we saw fit. It goes back out to going beyond the, the walls, you know, breaking down the silos, talking to individuals that I would have never talked to. Actually. It involves case managers, social workers, psychiatrists, psychologists. Um, in, you know, it involves so many different departments. They don't have the physical or the social supports that a lot of us take for granted. Essentially, that, that was our compass, was what can we do to take care of the patient? Overall, from a holistic standpoint, it's been an incredible success for us. Every hospital, private or public, encounters this problem and you know, that's why we want to develop something that can hopefully be replicated by others. We want to share the secret. It's, it's incredibly fulfilling, gratifying as a provider to be able to affect um, someone on such a deep and personal level and to see the outcomes that we can achieve. award of any private or public hospital in the U.S. And I must say, this uh, work has a special place in my heart. 
because my family came as immigrants to US. We had absolutely no money. These people took care of my dad, and I hope my dad is looking down and happy about the work that we've done. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.